Good morning, all of you. Uh, yesterday we completed unit number five, and today we will start unit number four: numerical solution of differential equations. And regarding your uh, next exam, uh, as I told you already, uh, unit number three and five will be there. Now these are the contents: numerical solutions for differential equations and we need total 10 hours to complete this chapter again this unit is divided into two sub parts one is ordinary differential equation and second one is partial differential equations in case of ordinary differential equation we will see taylor series method eilers method runge kutta method that is of fourth order and solving simultaneous equations using runge gupta second order method so there are four methods we will will be discussed in ode and in case of partial differential equation we will be emphasizing only on finite difference method in that introduction to finite difference method simple laplace method then pdes probably prob uh, parabolic explicit solution and elliptic explicit solution will be discussed so we will start with taylor series method here i would like to mention that why should we go for numerical solution for differential equations because since you are 11th 12th standard you are studying differential equations and how you are solving but when the equation becomes very complicated you cannot use ordinary differential equations or partial differential equations directly in that case you must go for numerical solution as analytical solution will become difficult to get so such problems we can solve by using numerical methods and today we will see first method taylor series method so consider first order equation dy by dx is equal to f of xy so generally that dy by dx is denoted by y dash in case of taylor series and that is the function of x and y both then differentiating equation one this is equation number one with respect to x then we have d2y by dx square is equal to dabba f upon dabba x plus dabba f upon dabba y into dy by dx this d2y by dx square can be denoted by y double dash or y2 then dabba f by dabba x by fx dabba f by dabba y by fy and dy by dx by f dash so these are the notations we will be using for showing the different differentials then similarly differentiating this equation again and again so this is the given to you and this is the first derivative oh sorry second derivative you took and if you again if we take the derivative of the same equation again and again then you can find out y3 y4 y5 and so on then in that equation generally the initial values x is equal to x not and y equal to 0 is given so that is initial value of y and corresponding x will be given to you then the values of y dash not y double dash not or y triple dash or you can say y1 not y2 not y3 not 
can be obtained and by using taylor series and this is the general equation for taylor series where you may be interested to calculate value of y for any given value of x so the equation becomes y is equal to y not this is the starting value plus x minus x not where x not is the starting or initial value that is given to you y dash not so in this equation put x not and y not value and you will get y dash not plus x minus x not square upon 2 factorial and put y double dash not so just in this equation put x not and y not you will get this value plus x minus x not cube upon 3 factorial into y triple dash not up to n number of terms so this is the general equation for taylor series method and generally the initial values are given and some unknown values will be asked to you and you will continuously take the derivative of this equation and for each time you need to put the initial values and obtain corresponding y dash naught y double dash naught y triple dash naught and so on and once you put all this value the general equation will be available to you and in that you can find out the value of y when any x value given to you and this equation gives the value of y for every value of x for which equation 3 converges so that converges slowly slowly the conversion takes place and in which we are interested so on finding the values of y1 for x is equal to xi from equation 3 y dash y double dash y triple dash etc can be evaluated at x is equal to x1 by means of equation 1 and equation 2 so this is your equation number 1 and this is your equation number 2 then y can be obtained about x is equal to x1 in this way the solution can be extended beyond the range of conversion of series 3 so this is how we solve important thing is that general equation will be given in this format the initial values x naught and y naught will be given to you then you need to take continuous derivative of this equation each time you need to put the initial values of x and y then all these values you need to put in the taylor series and find out the value of y for any given value of x so this is how you need to solve the problem now we will see with example how we can use taylor series method so solve y dash is equal to x plus y y naught is equal to 1 by taylor series method hence find the value of y at x is equal to 0.1 and 0.2 so here you can see the dy by dx is given which is denoted here by y dash or y1 which is equal to x plus 1 so this is given to you again the initial values for x and y are given so this will be your x naught and this will be your y naught so these two initial values are given to you and it is also mentioned that you need to solve this problem by using taylor series method and once you get the general equation for the given data points then find out the value of y when x is equal to 0.1 and x is equal to 0.2 so we'll start the initial values or given values you need to write down x naught is 0 and y naught is 1 
then y dash is equal to x plus y is given so differentiate that equation successively we will get so this is the first given equation y dash is equal to x plus y so put initial value that is x naught is equal to 0 and y naught is equal to 1 in this equation so y dash of 0 is equal to x naught plus y naught so x naught is 0 y naught is 1 and y dash of 0 is 1 so this is the first value is with you then again differentiate this equation so y dash becomes y double dash the derivative of x is 1 and derivative of y is y dash so again put the x naught and y naught in this equation you will get y double dash naught is equal to 1 this one as it is and y dash previously we estimated y dash naught and that is 1 so 1 plus 1 2 so y double dash naught is equal to 2 you will get again differentiate this equation one more time so y double dash its derivative becomes y triple dash derivative of 1 is 0 derivative of y dash is y double dash <coughs> so again put x naught y naught so y triple dash naught becomes equal to y double dash naught and y double dash naught has a value of 2 so you just put that value here and you will get y triple dash naught is equal to 2 again take the derivative of this so y rest to 4 is equal to y rest to 3 all and again put the initial values you will get y rest to 4 naught is equal to 2 so in this way you can take successively the derivatives and you can find out the values for y dash naught y double dash naught y triple dash naught y rest to 4 naught for the values given that is x naught and y naught so once you have all these values prepare or uh, write down the Taylor series equation y is equal to y naught plus x minus x naught y dash naught plus x minus x naught square divided by 2 factorial y double dash naught plus x minus x naught rest to 3 upon 3 factorial into y double dash naught and so on again in that equation put the known value so y naught is given 1 x we will keep as it is in order to get the equation in terms of x x naught is given 0 y dash naught is estimated and it is 1 here you can see we estimated y dash naught then x minus x naught we put the value of x naught that is 0 y double dash naught its value is 2 you can see here its value is estimated 2 again x minus x naught cube upon 3 factorial here put 0 x naught again y triple dash naught its value is 2 here you can see similarly we estimated y raised to 4 naught as well so again you need to prepare equation for that and put all the known values and after putting all these known values just simplify that equation so the equation will become 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube upon 3 plus x raised to 4 upon 12 so this is the equation available with you upon simplifying the Taylor equation and now you have equation y equation for y in terms of x now here you may ask a question can we estimate y next derivative is y raised to 5 so yes you can do it but when you go higher and higher you may realize that 
<coughs> there is hardly any difference you will observe in the solution because slowly slowly your answer will get converges so, so your y remains constant even if you are taking so many higher differentials so you need to take differential up to the value after which you will not observe there is a change in the value of y now this is the equation available with you so next what you need to do find the value of y when x is equal to 0.1 and 0.2 so first of all we will solve the equation for x is equal to 0.1 and put x is equal to 0.1 in this equation and solve that equation so you will get y of 0.1 is equal to 1.1103 so you can say when x is equal to 0.1 your y will be 1.1103 similarly when x is equal to 0.2 if you put in this equation that you derived for y then y of point point two which is equal to this equation and upon simplifying you will get the answer one point one one point two four two seven so this is how we use the taylor series method and get the solution so once again what i will do i will briefly repeat this example and we will go to next example because understanding of this equation is very important and quickly you can understand this equation so here you can see in the question the dy by dx is given to you that is y dash is equal to x plus y this is the given x naught is given initial values y naught is given and your question is you need to find the value of y when x is 0.1 and 0.2 so first of all write down given data then differentiate this equation as many times as you can but generally four or five times differential if you take that it will be sufficient so this is divided by dx put initial values of x naught y naught in this equation you will get y dash naught the answer is one again take the derivative so you will get y double dash again put the initial values in that equation you will get y double dash not as 2 again take derivative of this equation next derivative that is y triple dash put initial values and you will get the answer again take the differentiation you will get y raised to 4 again put the initial values you will get 2 and you can continue in this way then you need to write down the taylor series for the values which are available with you so in this problem the maximum value estimated is y raised to 4 so you need to write the equation up to power 4 so here i wrote only up to power 3 but you can extend it then put value y naught and the values in each segment of the equation you can see and simplify upon simplification you will get general equation for y then put x is equal to 0.1 as it is asked so you will get y is equal to 1.1103 again it is asked to find out y for x is equal to 0.2 so again put y is equal to sorry x is equal to 0 0.2 in this equation and you will get 1.2427 so this is how you can solve the problem now we will go to second problem so again in this find by taylor series method the value of y when x is equal to 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 to five decimal places so this is important whenever such type of question will be there you need to 
make necessary changes in your calculator and you need to find out the answer up to five decimal places and equation is given dy by dx is equal to x square y minus one okay so meanwhile i will check whether i'm still online or not okay yes i'm online so if you have any question you can start putting your question in the chat box so after this example we will discuss once again okay after first example we will discuss second uh, sorry second example again we will discuss uh, your doubts okay so um, hello 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 ओके सो विल गो बैक अगेन टू एक्साम्पल नंबर टू सो द इक्वेशन फॉर डीवाई बाय डी एक्स इज गिवन इनिशियल वैल्यूज आर गिवन एंड यू नीड टू डिफ्रेंशिएट दिस इक्वेशन अगेन एंड अगेन to get the values of y dash not y double dash not and so on so this is the equation given to you put initial values x not and y not you get y dash of not as 1 then y double dash you can calculate uh, estimate by deriving taking the differentiation of this equation and you will get this equation again put initial values you will to get y double dash not again take derivative of this equation you will get y triple dash is equal to 2y plus 4xy dash plus 2xy double dash and you can see here y triple dash zero is equal to 2 you and we put initial values x not and y not then again take derivative of this equation and after taking the derivation you will get this equation y 6y dash this is the derivative of 2y 6xy double dash is the derivative of 4xy dash and this is the derivative of 2xy double dash and again put initial values and you will get y raised to 4 not is equal to minus 6 then write the equation for taylor series put the known values y not 1 x not 0 y double y dash not as minus 1 y double dash not as 0 again y triple dash not as 2 y raised to 4 not rest uh, up not is minus 6 and this will be your simplified equation of y in terms of x then you can put x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 2 or point 2 to get values of y at point 1 and the answer is point 90033 again put x is equal to point 2 in the equation that you derived and you will get y at point 2 that is point 
0.2227 and as asked in the question you need to estimate up to five places of decimals so yes we did it so this is how you can use taylor series method to solve the problem so okay, now we will go back to your chat box and if you have any question we will discuss those questions so just keep on posting your question in the chat box or you can speak out and we will discuss so how wide dash of 4 is 2 it should be 0 so I will go back to okay first of all I will share the screen Okay, so here in example number one. So the question was how y rest to four is two, it should be zero in first example. Okay, so so I guess uh, your question is y rest to 4 is equal to y triple dash. So we need to put this value and we estimated that value at initial value. So that's why it is 2. I guess that is fine, right? Okay, any other question? Is this method clear to you or shall I repeat once again? Okay, anybody can speak out. If you have any question, 